Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Verily, all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah alone. We praise Him and we seek His help. And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and the consequences of our deeds. Indeed, whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, there is none that can misguide Him. And whomever Allah chooses to misguide, then none can guide Him back to the straight path. I bear witness and I testify that there is no deity, no being, no object that is worthy of our worship, our veneration, our love, our prostration, our sajda, our hope, our dua, other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness and I testify that Muhammad ibn Abdullah al arabi al hashimi al qurashi is the final messenger and the most perfect worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As to what follows, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it gives me great pleasure to stand before you here today as an inauguration ceremony to the conference that is about to follow, a conference dedicated to peace, a conference dedicated to discussing the most crucial issue to human existence. And I say this knowing full well the consequences of what I say. For indeed, it is the goal of every single human being, the ultimate goal of every object of creation, to achieve an inner peace within himself. It is this goal that drives and motivates us to do all that we do. This serenity, this inner peace, this in Arabic we call tama'nina, this peace is what drives us to do what we do. And peace is divided into two categories. An internal peace of the mind and soul and body and heart, and an external peace of society and, and civilization and culture. An internal peace within the body and an external peace without the body. These two pieces put together form ultimate peace on earth. And there is no doubt that both of them are important.